advertisement, and then we will play. I actually found this really interesting looking game called The Call of Karen. Although I have a feeling it's not exactly what I expect it to be, but you know. We'll find out. Um, pardon me if I'm a little low energy today. I've got a bit of a migraine. It's been, uh, been a high stress day, so. Things in Discord. Hopefully, folks come by to say hi. That would be lovely. But we won't hold our breath. Nope. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try out this call of Karen. And then. We'll go from there. Um, it's likely to be a short game. So I've also got Animal Crossing lined up after. So that'll be fun. Oh. Come on. Oh, that was my phone vibrating, as it often does. How nice of it. channel just to see I have no idea who that is that's okay that's okay all right hello singular person okay so uh, hello so now, we're doing The Call of Karen. I can't hear a gosh darn thing. It's not my headphones. Yeah, so now this game is... Oh, there we go. Listeners and patriots and lovers, watch out. There is a new kind of evil about both family men and no mates of their own. Don't let the octopus into your home. That's our message from our lovely sponsor, Hurston Enterprises. Before you get any ideas about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard commies up north. It's a metaphor, you see. <laughs> I tell ya, I love being up at 6 a.m. on a Monday. The sun rising over the city reminds me of all the life down there. All those good, stout-hearted Americans with jobs in their minds and capitalism in their hearts. Oh, okay. Sure, buddy. We've got a special guest I'm interviewing today, Joanne. Hello, Charles. I'm excited to be here. Now, what's a good Christian woman like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? I wonder that myself sometimes, Charles. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I wonder that too, Charles. Eat a giant dick, Charles. Holy 
like you, Mr. Fork. I don't need your sassafras, Mr. Fork. Okay, this is... This is weird. I like it, though. Condiment. That is a lot of salt and pepper. What are we doing here? What are we running here? Big in it everywhere. No wonder. <laughs> oh my god, it's big in everywhere. Someone get the dog. Who cooks bacon like that? We salt and pepper on breakfast. The most world's most durable eggs come from the world's most bizarre chickens. Oh shit, I forgot to let the dog in. Picking up hot eggs. I'm picking up hot eggs. It's the call of Karen. This game starts you on the kitchen. It starts you on the kitchen. It's like a 1950s setting. Okay. Interesting. Salt and Mrs. Peppa didn't have their affair yet. He's asleep. Francis, I made your favorite meatloaf sandwich Mom, with. Mom, I can't talk. I gotta go now. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Are you tired of feeling taken for granted? You know it, Charles. Of course you are. We know all you family men work hard all day just to provide for the kiddos at the old ball and chain. And when do they ever say thank you? Hmm. Honey, I'll be out late again. Have dinner ready when I get back. Ooh, yes, it? this truly is the American dream. What? Happy home, happy life, and happy wife. And what could be happier? We'll be back with more tales from all around the greatest country on earth after these messages. This is a little strange. Is this why y'all did drugs back in the 50s? No, no. Books on the shelf, which shelf? Whoa, what was that noise? Huh? It might be time to lay off the morning wine. Uh, you think, sweetheart? Ugh. Even when something's a little different around here, there's always a mess to clean up. Francis!
I guess that was a card, not a book. show. Okay, apparently it is the shelves, but this one just doesn't want to... Definitely a book. It's a book. Thank you very much for bringing in the puppy. He's a good puppy. Thank you. Fuck you, Francis. I wonder if that's why. I wonder if that's why he's just he decides to call himself Ajax later. His mother was a crazy drunk person. kitchen oh well bathe it bring it to the tape to you too.
supposed to bake the meatloaf if it uh, fuses. There we go. Keep baking. Burn for all I care. are on the wrong side. Oh, that's going to bother me. Forks on the left, knives and, knives and spoons on the right, you drunk, uncultured swine. Cthulhu haunting my house. I'm a 1950s housewife that drinks and it says day drinking. That was a giant wine glass. Holy crap. This drunk 1950s housewife puts forks on the right. Forks on the right, Michael. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it. Damn <laughs> it. No, I want to gather the meat low. I'll have you know this will be brought up in the next TV. Need to slice it. I can't slice it. Oh no, it fell off the plate. How am I, am I supposed to just serve it on the table? I don't understand. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just supposed to just put that motherfucker on the table. <laughs> uh, now how am I supposed to slice this thing? How am I supposed to slice it? I don't understand. Drop the knife on the meatloaf. Sure. Sure. When Francis isn't sorting his trading cards and John isn't working on his novel, dinner can't come fast enough. But when they're busy, they can't be bothered. Ugh, might as well listen to the radio while I wait. And what a wonderful day it was! And if we have our way, we'll be living like this forever. Don't forget, anyone who wants different is a threat to our country. Be sure to report any strange happenings to... Hi, Frankie! 
How you doing, sweetie? Uh, I want a table like that. That was cool. Badass. Check out these physics, guys. a terrible 1950s housewife. What? If I have to politely remind John to stop stacking food against the fridge door again, I'll scream. Or I would, if he didn't always leave the room when I show womanly emotions. Floor bacon for me. Oh, what a feeling. Good morning, America. We're back at it again on this bright and sunny morning. And aren't we glad that it's bright and sunny, considering that freak storm over the Atlantic last night? That certainly didn't give me any ideas about the fragility of our human lives. Oh, in other child. news, does the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a wife you are? Tune in after the break to find out. Wait, where are my cooked eggs? There's my cooked egg. There's one cooked egg. What? Why is my egg floating? Where'd my egg go? There it is. Thank you, sweetheart. thing is too much salt. I love you too, dear. I don't Francis, know. don't forget your lunch. Next time, can you make lunch like Timmy's mom does? She gives him cookies. And don't you forget the meatloaf tonight, honey. I... Oh, we never fuck do. you guys. <laughs> Assholes. Today's oh, broadcast brought to you by Hurston Enterprises' like new vacuum cleaner with brand new technology that keeps your house cleaner longer. But not too long, or you ladies back home would have nothing to do. We've got a testimonial today from one of our happy customers. Say hello to America, Susan Jones. Hi, Charles. It's a pleasure to be here. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Now, Susan, you're a mother president and baker extraordinaire oh i don't know if i'd say extraordinaire i just know what i'm doing when some others <laughs> struggle a bit more oh fuck off dude. sure susan fuck off susan all right that's definitely not normal. Any second now, Charles from PMCR Radio is going to knock on the door and tell me this is all a weird prank show segment. And Susan will be there too. She'll marvel at how I haven't cleaned up before letting in company. Your plates were floating? Mine had booked a plate ticket to Kingsport. I had to walk the whole way there to catch them and I still made it back in time to make dinner. Look at 
there are actually like four plates in here. One, one table setting is already mostly done. I have a friend trying to help me. You assholes can eat with floor plates, floor cups, and floor forks. watching. Oh, that's why I hear screaming. That's very sweet. She cooks so much meatloaf anyway. Variety is the spice of life. Which I guess... I guess that's why Blue Pig encouraged me to get a girlfriend at one point. Ha ha! I shouldn't poke fun. He's, he's actually watching something very emotional. and Happy sad. It's an ugly cry kind of thing. So many plates, Karen. Get it together, Karen. That's a lot. text in front of my face while I'm trying to clean because <laughs> I'm doing such a good job of it. Ready. In a minute. In a minute. Ugh. Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. Keep an eye out for anything strange, and don't forget. Perfectly straight. Thank you. 
to your water. Again. Ugh. Well, I prefer floating bacon to floor bacon. Oh, I can't say I'm a huge fan of either. Another day in American paradise, the greatest country on earth. Don't forget, everything's completely no. fine. Today's program is brought to you by And that's not all. If you buy now, you'll get a free pair of binoculars to spy on your neighbors. Bye, Francis. Hope you have a good day at school. Have a good day at work, dear. Yep, I think Cthulhu's trying to wipe me. Vacuum left grime. Maya Hurston vacuum, they said. It will have your carpet sparkling like new! Yeah, yeah, give me a ring when it does the same thing for my ceiling. I don't see any guys. Yeah. Is he a kid? Oh yes! Being Magazine is here! Please take me away to a world of country melodrama where I don't have to worry about how my house might be possessed. Silver 
wallets, huh? You know what? Sure. Better safe than sorry. If only I hadn't sold the pistol when we had Francis. Those silver bullets can't get here fast enough. Hey, whatever entity is doing this, please stop. I don't need any more cleaning to do. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. I'm just very curious. How how is the rest of the family just completely oblivious to this, honestly? In a minute. In a minute. I should start cooking for the entity in the house. Maybe it will appreciate my cooking. I can't tell if that's a yes or a no. I'm going to say no. Good evening, listeners. Gee, did that day fly by with no strange happenings at all. For you night owls out there, here's the evening news. Huh? That storm out by the Atlantic seems to have cleared up. The Navy is setting out to investigate, to make sure it isn't something... else. Meanwhile, some odd fellow in Johansson County swears there's a new mountain on the horizon by his house. <laughs> oh, the things some folks will do for attention, am I right? If you live near that man, you'd best keep an eye on him for other unusual behavior. Good morning, everyone. Every day is a clean slate, a brand new start. Breakfast, as you all know, is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. My mistake.
swear Karen must go through so many eggs. Because she just yeets them into oblivion. Picked up that egg and it's gone. Oh wait, there's one. Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I could drive Timmy's you. Timmy's mom says that women shouldn't drive. Bye, honey. Timmy's mom is a bitch. <laughs> Strange. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. Oh boy. From Susan? What did she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who has eldritch demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow, isn't that just so thoughtful of her? From the lawn? That's actually useful? Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked, just for you. And now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your community. Come on, Charles. I don't need you calling me out, too.
that's safe. Forks and giant knives just flying through the air. This is what happened when they first came out with Prozac. Prescribed it for everything along with Coca-Cola. Full of fresh cocaine. Well, more like the active ingredient in cocaine. So, the coca plant is where they got the term Coca-Cola. Because, you know, coca plant. They did not realize that it actually led to terrible, terrible things. So, you know. Just a fun fact about y'all, about our history. United States. I know people say they want to make America great again, but I mean, back then, back then, people were fucked up. Maybe that's how they got everything done. Dinner's they ready. Used illicit substances that weren't illicit at the time. I'm working on my novel. I'm sorting novel. my training cards. Fuck your trading cards. Are you an here. unhappy housewife in your house God life? Damn. Yeah. Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one. A safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. And five down is control for target area. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Lithuanian? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlie. So close. So the holy water doesn't work on everything. Be sure to be safe out there, Francis. There's been strange news lately. I'll be fine, Mom. Timmy's dad is picking me up from school, and Timmy's mom is gonna make me brownies after. Honey, have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's all right, I'll pick up pizza tonight. I don't need that much guy. Oh, perfect, my bullets are here. Now, I might not have a gun, and most sources say you need a gun to use bullets, but most sources aren't losing their mind trying to be a good wife and mother while demons are in their house. So I'll be taking some liberties. No, you don't need a gun. You just need a, uh, a blowtorch or some shit. And probably something to hold it with. 
that hold the bullet with where you don't you're not gonna get damaged. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by The Stars Are Right, your number one guide to the stars being right. Also providing services like seeing if the stars are right and making sure that they always descend upon the world. Broadcast? What do you mean they're not a sponsor? The stars are right. The stars are right. It's right here. The stars are right. The stars are right. The stars are right. Now this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't okay. know when I'll need it, but better safe than no, sorry. No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that, that the, the old ones are returning, returning and they're turning, turning their boat to the Second City of Hope, yeah, and that Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today, 50% off. Oh, we're on air now? Hello, everyone. Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. Add a bit of extra kick to your morning smoothie with some tasty sea life. Delicious. Actually, that doesn't sound delicious at all. Well, anyhow, it's a Saturday. Time to kick back and relax after a long, hard week of work bacon. providing for your families. And hey, maybe your wives can take a break, too. The bacon's trying to escape. Aww. brother's gonna react when your nephew gets back. Jeez. Still. Cthulhu, can I just have breakfast, please? Come on, man. I just... Let me catch that egg. Let's see. Where's my plate? There you are. Look, Nani the fuck, dude. This isn't funny. I'm about to rage here because I'd be pretty pissed if I had if I lost my breakfast because some um, asshole elder god just decided to come back and go mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your breakfast I'm gonna steal your breakfast nah nah fam nah get I'm gonna play poker with the guys. I'll be back late. Timmy found a weird bat lizard by the creek. We're gonna go poke it with a stick. Hey, don't. Susan should pay more attention to her kid. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know though, like...
It looks like these bullets are going to come in handy after all. I'm sick of this overage nonsense. You don't think the Soviets have anything to do with this, do you? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. We'll all be vaporized to dust one way or the other. Do you believe that we will rejoin the stars? I thought you were interviewing me about my ceramic business? <laughs> Indeed I was! You'll never believe it, folks. This man makes deep-sea dining sets. Get a plate shaped like an octopus for only $19.99. Yes, I... Perfect for all occasions, like serving that 50% off calamari or celebrating the return of... <laughs> oh, thank the octopus bad human lord of the deep sea. I suppose you can use my plates for that. Yes. What do I do with them? What am I supposed to do with these now? I shot them. They did. Am I just supposed to shoot everything that's floating? suddenly riding my vacuum. Because my phone vibrating. Whoo wee! This is. 
Alright, I gotta say, this 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 Karen lady is an absolute master at jumping, cause look at that shit. Supposed to go that way, my friend. Get your ass back on the bookshelf. It's one of those books you just don't want her to get caught up in. Jesus. See if I can get a hint. Easy, baby.
No, TV, you get back down there. Okay, so I must be missing a book somewhere. from our lovely sponsor, Hurston Enterprises. Before you get any ideas about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard commies up north. It's a metaphor, you see. I tell ya, I love being up at 6 a.m. on a Monday. The sun rising over the city reminds me of all the life down there, all those good, stout-hearted Americans with jobs in their minds and capitalism in their hearts. Wait, I have to do this all over again? Like, this game is hilarious, but I got pretty far, and all of a sudden, my task was complete, and it didn't act. It didn't let me load. Okay. Well, then. We're, uh... We'll do something else, then. Could do something else. We're going to play the Animal Crossings now. <gasps> okay. Actually, you know what? No. First, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a pee break. And then we'll play Animal Crossing. How's that sound? So who is actually bad here? Is it Tomato? Because there's only three of them left. Oh, so they're just trying to escape. Be like that. I just got lucky basically because it was there and I got it. I gotcha.
So is it different each time? Or? looking at both of these traps like so we can see them but they wouldn't be able to oh, okay so okay well because I placed one in front of the hut earlier and somebody got smacked oh gracious That she's back in the atmosphere drops Jupiter in her head. Actually, need to shrink this just a little bit. From where? From these nuts? I, I lived in the Midwest very briefly. I'm actually from the East Coast. Oh. Really? Hmm. I live. Actually, you know what? I totally forgot. I used to be an open the road truck driver. My buddy, um. I keep forgetting to add my buddy Frosty. My dumbass. So. I'm gonna go to just chatting real quick. So I can, uh, you keep leaving vacuums behind me, Miss Blue. Alright. Well, it's not only that, it's the words they string together. That word Jane never heard before. Like, pulp. Oh. Pulp. Yep. It can mean several things, but. There you go. Usually it refers to a bag or a hand. I, when I lived in eastern Kentucky, there was a fair few people that would say things that I wouldn't even understand. <laughs> yeah. But I've also lived in Pennsylvania. There we go. Uh, Yeah, then you married me. What's wrong with you? I did marry you. You're right. What's the game called again? Oh, I, I stopped because I had to completely start it over. It, it got stuck in one area, but it was called The Call of Karen. It was actually quite hilarious. The Call of Karen?
check out Luna's bed. Not quite sure who that is. There we go, that's cool. I like it. I like it. She's stretching, not walking. That's okay. I don't know how this 439 is going to break me, guys. Oh, I haven't checked the recycling box in a while.
No, Luna's sneaking her show. Tommy's asleep. No. Our house is haunted, by the way, guys. Just to let you know. So occasionally we will hear screaming, crying. Well, actually, the biggest thing we hear is footsteps walking around upstairs when no one's walking around. We hear that a lot. So, you know, good times to be had by all. Paint it black? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you should. It's an iconic song. Paint it black is a very iconic song. I think I'd be disappointed in you if you didn't recognize it on some level.
stink bug. That's gross. No! Ew. Luna baby, it's bedtime. give you art donations if Red would visit my island. You didn't 
Ding 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 ding. Jitter.
Here you go, monster. You've got a monstera. Friend. back to shore that I think I'm gonna call it a night. I am trying to fall asleep in my chair. It's not good. Bubbles.
Okay, so. A lot of streaming for Call of Karen. Which was kind of bizarre, but it was a lot of fun and entertaining. And then a little bit of Animal Crossing. Just a little tired today, got a bit of a migraine, so. Either to the out. Oh, goodness, tomorrow or Sunday night, we'll be back. Probably more Animal Crossing. All right. Well, I hope you all have a good evening. Get some rest. Maintain your sanity. Maintain your health. And thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye! Bye-bye. Did the bye-bye.